there aren't a lot of people that have been through this experience. No, the group is pretty small. Winning is something that lasts forever. I am excited for this run because it's been 20 years. We ended up winning on our home ice uh, on uh, June 10th, uh, 2001. Just to be part of it is, is extremely exciting. Matthew, the athletic trainer. Yeah. Jean, the head of communications. It's been a while. Paul, a courier. Oh yes, definitely. It'll be electric. Charlotte, who works in the front office, and Mark, a finance exec. Uh, definitely so. Have all held the Stanley Cup in Denver twice. Both from 1996 and 2001. The lucky ones get a day with the cup. I kind of thought in my mind, wow, it would be cool to bring the Stanley Cup to a top of a 14er. Are we ready, guys? So I took it to the summit of Mount Albert. One of a kind kind of trip. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to Albert we go. 14,433 feet, the highest point in Colorado. I got to have it on my wedding day. Matthew's wife let him bring it. My wife and I had our first toast out of the Stanley Cup. Pierre will be close to my heart. Former general manager Pierre Lacroix's name hands in the rafters. He hired Charlotte back in 95. Pierre gave us at the start of every year these miniature Stanley Cups. This is really the goal at the end of the year is to win the Stanley Cup. Pierre really wanted me to uh, come along with him in 95 and it's been an amazing uh, an amazing story since then. Winning a cup may last forever. Extremely hard, extremely hard. Uh, they really deserved uh, that little uh, time with the Stanley Cup. Now it's time to win again. This one's going to be one hell of a fight. Take a step back every so often and just enjoy because these opportunities don't come around all the time. And it's, it's going to be special. Charlotte Graham, who you just saw there, was one of 12 women in all of hockey history to have her named engraved on the Stanley Cup in 2001, back when the Avs won. Just a couple years later, her son won the Cup as a player with the Tampa Bay Lightning. She believes they're the only mother-son duo to have both of their names on the Stanley Cup. That's Talk insane. about a successful that's, family. That's so cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. What a story right. and what pride they carry for life. And now they want to win another one. And hopefully right. they will. I would say this this is our time. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thank you.